Hello my friends, welcome back. It is time to uh, do this Firebird mission quickly and then once that's done we need to race over here and see if we can rescue that haven that's under attack. I don't know how long they're going to hold for, but I'm quite far away. I'm quite far away, <clears throat> which is going to make it tricky to get over there in time. Sanhedrin already lost like three havens to the behemoth, so it's kind of a bit of a nightmare for them to keep losing havens. Okay. <clears throat> oh, I remember this map. I remember this map from the first campaign. I can see incoming. This one's infested with Pandorans. <clears throat> This is where you first meet the old goo launcher, if I remember correctly. Palms online. Anyway, we can just begin slaughtering. No trouble here. This is not like the first time I did this map in the original campaign. I am armed with endgame gear. Or at the very least, mid-game gear. It's the old man and his spitterhead. Ready-ish. It's like a less than 50% chance to hit. I'm here. My turn. Okay. Ready to engage. <laughs> Preparing to fire. Get your PDW out. Has that one got a grenade launcher? No. Just a very nasty machine gun. Gotta keep on pushing. Gotta keep on pushing. Oh, I still have a sniper left. I thought I'd used all my action points on my snipers. Oh well. That's fine. <coughs> okay, he's dead. 
Moving to coordinates. You ain't got time to bleed. Oh, great. Can't believe these evil little things are like more of a threat than most of the Pandaren army. Oh my god, there's so many of them. Okay, alright. It's time to go berserk. Rapid clearance, baby! Go. This better work. <coughs> Excuse me. PDW here as well, so if I can weaken an enemy enough, I could uh, potentially get two AP for just one. Like this guy. Zero armor. Still slightly too much HP for a one shot. No rapid clearance yet. Two tiles away is enough to avoid the uh, splash of that thing exploding. It's hard to shoot like this. Okay. I'm here. Yeah. Let's just go ahead and annihilate this guy. Enemy See, this is where being crossed with sniper would be really useful. Because <clears throat> you can reduce the you can use willpower to reduce the cost of your shots. Ten shots. Ready to engage. Okay, can't miss. Ah. 
How's the willpower, boys? 26 willpower! <coughs> oh, these bugs. These bugs are ridiculous. Whose idea was it to give them bloody 20... 26 willpower? Come on, that's more than the bloody siren. And that's enough armor to make sure that they, uh... Survive whatever I want to do to them. Let's get rid of the siren. Need the right angle. Huh? Okay. Excuse me one second. <clears throat> oh man. Hurry up and die, plants. Winter's here. I'm ready. <laughs> What's the plan? Okay. AP here. Could totally kill that with the shotgun if I closed in. I don't want to give it the PDW treatment though, so I can get more AP. Just a tiny amount of HP. Aiming. Goodbye. <clears throat> Minus five willpower. Not that it matters for enemies that have so much willpower. My god. They might as well have just removed the willpower system from the game. Okay, I'm back up to 4 AP. I'm here. <clears throat> See if this sniper can pick off one more of these bugs. That was a miss. Despite the entire circle being on the bug. Identifying target. That was another miss! Unbelievable! <laughs> Festering Skies really is kind of a, uh... Let's go! Aiming. Uh, it just does not add anything to your game. Let's be honest. The thing has enough armor to uh, resist being shotgunned. Pretty, pretty strongly.
pretty sure that that explosion thing has a has a two tile radius, so I can't even get any closer without risking having this thing blow up in my face. I got the issue that if I don't kill this, I'm actually uh, oh, enemy engage. gonna take huge damage. What? One, two. It still hit me. I'm ready. It still hit me from that absolutely insane distance. It still hit me. And I can't remove acid. Medkits don't remove acid. Ready? Ish. Right there. I'm here. So what, we got an enemy with uh, like three tile wide explosion, <clears throat> 200 acid damage. Nice, there goes some AP. One shot arm disablement. Okay, there goes one AP. <clears throat> okay, at least the regen torso is fighting the acid, so that's good. So what, I need to be more than three tiles away from those bugs when I kill them. Five by five. That to me is absolutely pants on head crazy. And my snipers can't hit the bug because it's too small and it's underneath the... Oh, I misclicked. <laughs> it's too small and it's underneath the thing I just blew up. Might be able to get two shots here. What's the plan? doing you are I'm switching to a med kit 4 AP moving focus <clears throat> okay
That missed, didn't it? Frankly, there's only one safe way to deal with these things. Actually, just bloody neuralize them. That way they won't explode. Attempting to acquire There we go. Trying to aim. This is the answer. Neuralize the filth. Whoever thought these bugs were a good idea needs to be shot. Seriously. Okay, maybe nothing as harsh as being shot, but I mean, I don't know what they were thinking. You've got a unit that has all the... <laughs> it's worse than the worms, so it explodes like a grenade slightly worse and more powerfully than the worms do. In addition to that, it's incredibly fast. It flies. It can dodge overwatch. It can hide behind things. It has a tiny hitbox, uh, which seems to mostly uh, avoid, avoid shots that should not miss. Here. It's crazy. Anyway. Goodbye. Look at this! Dodge. This acid is killing my guys. Count to ten. What's the plan? I'll be okay. <coughs> Thank God they've got regen torsos. <clears throat> Acid reduces uh, armor by ten, and if it can't reduce armor by ten, then it uh, does ten damage to body. But the uh, regen torso is at least fighting it, and it's also removed the acid from the arms. Right, go forth. This map at least doesn't have infinite reinforcements. I can do about these characters with their Let's acid go. damage. Oh. <clears throat> <clears throat> wow, the acid is now causing mass bleeds. Please tell me that's just the mission over. Oh good, because I was going to have to burn more med kits. <clears throat> I was not looking forward to burning more med kits to keep my guys alive. 
because the regen torso no longer restores all limbs, so uh, acid's going to just cause bleed from the head and legs. I think the Virophage medkit removes acid, so it'll be good to pick that up. But first I have to uh, research the old siren nodule. Unexpected. The journal seems to suggest that the research was recovered by the Phoenix Project. I assume that you are unaware of this. Presumably due to the near collapse your organization suffered after the severe cutbacks of the early 21st century. Apparently the surviving research was stored at a Phoenix base designated Storage Facility 4. Not a terribly inventive naming scheme. Okay. To complicate matters, before the collapse, the local government sold Storage Facility 4 to Abaddon Tusk, one of the billionaires that resulted from the old political system's malfunctioning distribution of resources, who turned it into a shelter for his company. Eccentric and possibly sociopathic to begin with, he has been driven to new extremes, styling himself Pirate King, Pirate King and leading violent raids on defenseless havens. Sweet. I calculate a 98% chance of armed conflict resolution. All right, that wasn't as uh, that wasn't as expensive as it could have possibly been. Let's see if we make it to Sinedrin to save them in time. I'm coming. But am I too slow? I'm not gonna make it. I didn't make it. And the blimp wouldn't have made it either. It's too slow. However, the blimp can go and fight that for me. Okay, we're doing okay. I need to send this team, which is horribly injured, back to base. At least for enough healing so that they can... Uh... There's a living quarters and medical facility here. At least for enough healing so that they can... Uh... Fight that infested base. And I can repair them with one med kit. How much EXP do you need? A lot. I guess it'll be a while. Ignore pain is definitely pretty good. Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that that mission is going to be a uh, pain in the ass, so. Disciples of Amu Pay will be sent to attack. Oh. Okay, we can make it to that one, I'm pretty sure. I'm not too injured to do that. It ran away. Chase it. Ugh, I got so much work to do on this map now. Let's go. Okay. 
Good, sweet rewards for me. Unfortunately, the diplomatic change is almost, uh... It's only plus three if you count it in total. All right, so we'll get that done. The behemoth is roaming the land. Zero of 12 disruption points now. So apparently we got a lot of work to do to fight this menace. Two hours until I have restricted bionics. Do you know what? I should probably research this corruption node next as well, because that's probably key part of how I destroy the behemoth. And I'm going to be treading water for a while until the behemoth is dead. Because <clears throat> he's just he's giving me so much to do on the world map. Alright, but that's it for now, so I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you guys next time.